Let's start off and talk about uh, what is unique to the school by grade. Well, the uh, our first two years, ninth and 10th grade, that's what we call our career exploration day. So when uh, typically when a high school student comes in, ninth grader, uh, 13, 14, 15 years old, whatever they are, typically they don't really know what they want to do for a living. A lot of them don't even know what, work, what it really means to work. You know, they, they really haven't been old enough to work. So that's what we do with our uh, ninth and 10th grade students. We give them an opportunity to uh, explore uh, different careers. That's what we call it career exploration, which means essentially learning about work, learning what, wor learning what work is. And we will give them an opportunity to uh, experience, uh, literally experience different, uh, different career uh, pathways where they're actually going out and working, uh, working, working alongside for a day with a, with a professional, uh, bringing in guest speakers, you know, uh, that sort of thing. And then uh, grades 11 and 12, that's when uh, our hope is that students by then might have already selected a career field that they're, they're interested in. So they move from learning about work to actually working. And uh, that's when we set them up with uh, whether it be a paid, a paid apprenticeship or paid internship, but they're working in a particular field in a career path and uh, getting paid while they're in school while they're doing it. And then when they graduate high school, they will have a, uh, a good job high paying job, valuable job when they graduate high school. What does a typical day look like? So I arrive to school, either I'm dropped off, I drive to, or I ride the bus to school, okay. then what happens? Right. Well, at uh, Apprentice Academy, the bell will ring at eight o'clock and uh, that will let students know it's, um, it's uh, our first period. Cause... So I'm a, a typical student. I just arrived on campus, got off the bus, say I took the bus to school. Describe what my day looks like. Okay, well your day at Apprentice Academy will start at eight o'clock in the morning when you hear that first bell. And then you won't hear another bell until the day ends at Apprentice Academy at 3.30 in the afternoon. Uh, between that time, you'll, you'll go from uh, class to class and they typically will go uh, an hour and a half. So let's say you come in at, at first period, and uh, that'll go for 90 minutes. And then after that time period, we're going to have uh, a time, uh, a little, for right now, this is called a break time. We'll have a 15 minute break where students, uh, you know, they got up early and if they need time to eat or something, they have time to uh, uh, regenerate with, uh, with some food or if they have, you know, meet with teachers, whatever they might need to do during that time, they have 15 minutes to get it done. And, and same thing for the staff. Uh, then after that, we'll have uh, the second block uh, we'll start and then uh, after that have third period then lunch and then we would finish out the day with uh, with the fourth period and depending on what grade level you are and uh, uh, what courses you're taking uh, it might not look the same for everybody but uh, that's a that's how the typical day uh, will look and as part of that day um, when you said I'm meeting with teachers what uh, what does that mean well, that could be, you know, you just need to uh, catch up with a teacher. It's, it's during that 15 minute period. That is not a planning. That is not a formal process to meet with teachers, because as part of our summit learning, we actually have a formal process that you'll meet that you will not find any place else other than Apprentice Academy. Because we have a mentoring program, and whichever day of the week we we make it, you will have a a, a formal time with 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 which to sit down with your mentor to go over your uh, learning plans. We'll talk about that on, on another video, what that is, but um, you'll spend at least 10 minutes every week with a teacher going over your progress uh, for your learning and your learning plan and, and your career plan. Part of the schedule you were saying is a, this block, uh, with, I know it's part of Summit Learning, and we'll go through yeah. Summit Learning, but what, what is that? Well, uh, we call it a personal learning time. So that's where uh, during the school day, Students will have an entire period dedicated to uh, uh, working on individual assignments and individual projects. It'll also be dedicated to, because um, there'll be some students who uh, will need uh, extra time, intervention time, uh, above and beyond what the teacher's able to give them in the classroom time. So during, this, during these periods, there will always be teachers uh, dedicated to work with students. And typically it's going to be a math, and, a math and an English teacher to work specifically with students who need it. And it'll also be a time for students who uh, uh, have accelerated processes that they need to work on or other classes, they'll also have that time. So it really is a time for, for students to do, what, uh, to do things above and beyond whatever the typical classroom period is.